A crucial factor in achieving the SDGs will be monitoring progress to learn from evidence and experience and know how to shape policy and where to prioritize resources. To monitor the 169 targets associated with the 17 SDGs, the UN Statistical Commission has identified more than 230 indicators, concrete measurements countries will use to track and report progress and stay on course. Reporting on these indicators will require countries to collect and manage enormous amounts of data disaggregated by gender, age, geography, income, and others. To assist them, UN agencies have been assigned a custodian role for each indicator, helping countries to better collect, analyze, and disseminate their data. FAO is custodian for more than 20 of the SDG indicators across six goals. Eradicating hunger and malnutrition and achieving sustainable agriculture is at the heart of FAO's work. Based on different methodologies and sources of data, these two complementary indicators measure people's access to food. This promotes better targeted policy interventions with a greater impact on hunger eradication. Small-scale producers are central to sustainable development, but there is currently little information to tell us who they are, what they earn, and how much they produce with the limited resources at their disposal. These indicators help to fill that gap, supporting the design of policies that simultaneously drive the nation's economy and free populations from hunger and poverty. Sustainable agriculture places people at the center, uses economic resources efficiently, and protects the environment. This indicator will help the governments to identify which types of agriculture are sustainable and highlight where and how they need to act to move towards a more sustainable and productive agriculture. Today, the planet's natural wealth is under threat. Its biodiversity is inadequately used and monitored. Collecting information on conserved plant and animal diversity will help decision makers to improve policies that can safeguard it and ensure people enjoy a diverse and nutritious diet well into the future. The latest research suggests the best way of lifting people out of hunger and poverty is to invest in the agriculture sector. The Agriculture Orientation Index allows countries to report on their government expenditure on agriculture in relation to the share of agriculture within its GDP. The indicator of food price anomalies identifies abnormal fluctuations in the prices of basic commodities. It helps countries to ensure that appropriate measures can be taken to soften the blow when consumer markets fluctuate. Women make up nearly half of the total agricultural labor force in developing countries, but own just a fraction of the land. These indicators use a large body of evidence to measure women's access and legal rights to agricultural land ownership. Two-thirds of the world's population could be living in water-stressed countries by 2025. Through water usage-related data, these indicators measure water use efficiency and water stress so that water resources can support economic development and the world's ecosystems well into the future. A sizable chunk of the food we produce is lost or wasted, along with the resources used to make it. This indicator helps to detect where food losses occur throughout the food supply chain, thereby informing policies to improve the country's overall food system. The world's seas and oceans play an important role in meeting growing demand for nutritious food while sustaining livelihoods for millions. These indicators aim to measure the sustainability of fisheries and the progress made by countries in combating illegal fishing and protecting access rights for small-scale fishers. Forests and mountains can make vital contributions to both people and the planet. These indicators measure forest area, mountain vegetation cover, and how well forests are being managed. This offers countries a tool to monitor their natural resources, whether they are being sustainably managed, and the health of their ecosystems.